Meteorologist Haley Clawson. Our big weather story as we head into Tuesday is going to be the wind. Now, right now, our winds nice and light across the Coachella Valley. However, a high wind warning has been issued. This goes into effect at 1 a.m. tomorrow. So in those overnight hours, you'll begin to hear the wind strengthen, especially if you have a palm tree right up against your window. That's going to begin to be noticed. This is mainly uh, to our west for San Bernardino, Riverside County Mountains, but it does include the San Gorgonio Pass. So while the strongest gusts will be to our west, we're talking for the peaks and the canyons, 60 to 70 miles per hour. Down here on the valley floor, we're going to be feeling our winds closer to that 25 to 30 mile per hour range. So again, through the rest of tonight, staying pleasant, very mild. Enjoy your time outside. Moving overnight into early tomorrow morning, that's when those winds will begin to strengthen. On average, in the early morning hours, we're looking at those gusts 20 to 25 miles per hour for the low desert. Of course, our more wind prone locations will feel a little bit stronger. Moving through the day into the late afternoon, evening, another round will be coming through where we could see those gusts up to about 30 miles per hour. So with this wind, of course, we are concerned about fire weather, fire danger. So a red flag warning has been issued as well. This goes into effect tonight and remains in effect through tomorrow night. Now this is much farther towards our west. It does not include our local mountains, but it just is reminds you a cause for concern when we are talking about gusty winds, offshore winds as well that will continue to dry out our environment. The vegetation is already incredibly dry, and then we're talking about relative humidity values 15 to 20 percent. Right now here in the desert, well, we're dealing with very similar conditions, but again, our winds will not be as strong as the winds to our west. And that's why we are not under that red flag warning, but still we're feeling the dry conditions. All right, now let's talk about the chance for rain. Yes, that red flag warning is only in effect through tomorrow night because there's going to be an increase in moisture. So as we head through our Tuesday, we're going to be seeing plenty of cloud cover. Very different story compared to what we were experiencing out there today. Moving through tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, that's when we have our first shot at some light showers here on the valley floor. We're not looking at heavy rain, but still when we're talking about rain in the desert, people start talking. Same as we head into Wednesday, we have another chance for some light showers. Overall, when we're looking at our accumulation here on the valley floor, it will be minimal compared to areas down to the south, like in Imperial County. So a quick check on some of our future rainfall estimates. Overall, we're looking up to about a tenth to two tenths of an inch, which for the desert, is still very nice. Certainly going to be monitoring this closely. Your Comfort Air 7-day forecast showing tomorrow our high temperatures are going to be about 20 degrees cooler than what we felt today. Peter, Karen. Yeah. Oh, what a difference. Yeah, we yes. certainly need the rain. That we it's do. been a while, Haley. It'll be Thanks. nice. A team of volunteers.